Hi, I'm Wayne from Maurice Garment Care. It's the dreaded moment we've all experienced. Take a shirt out to wear from the closet and the button is missing. Button Sewing 101 is a prerequisite for working at Maurice and it's really quite a simple task. Today I'll show you how. Uh, I use glasses. I need them at my age and I use a needle threader. I pre-threaded this little needle th threader through the hole, taking about hmm, 18 inches of thread. We pass it through the hole. And then pull it through. You simply tie a knot down somewhere at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Cut the excess off. We look at the pattern and we're going to start coming underneath the garment. Pull the thread until the knot just catches. Place the button on top and follow the pattern. This is a crisscross. Down. And then we finally will come back up underneath the button. Come through a piece of thread Simply tie a knot, or if we want to be sure, tie two knots. I like to use the back of the needle and pass it through the thread. Make it secure. Cut our excess thread off, and you're done, ready to go to your meeting. These coat buttons have a little shank on them that allows the thick material to sit between the button and the coat itself. I've doubled up the thread here and now you're all experts on threading a needle so we didn't need to go there and I've tied my knot already. This button does not go all the way through so we're simply going to grab the material, pull it through until we reach our knot, place the button on. I've left a little bit more thread here than the last time and we're going to go back through Again, while not going all the way through the coat, and follow the pattern on the button. I don't pull it so tight because we're going to need some extra thread for our shank. Keep passing through. I've got enough passes in here and I've left it loose, at which point I just simply wrap the thread around the back side of the button, creating my little shank, which allows the button to stand off. And then I push the needle through the shank. Tie off with my little knot. and cut the excess off. Voila. My wife went to wear this jacket and she hands me the button that fell off. Um, but what's this? Uh, this little thing here is called a backup button. And it secures the button to the front and gives it a really sturdy bond. So we all are experts at this point in terms of threading our needle. And what we'll do is the first thing we will do is secure the backup button to the jacket. Find the spot where it goes and we're all lined up. We're going to come up until we hit our knot. We're going to go back down. We have multiple layers here so you want to make sure you're lined up correctly. And at which point we're going to pick up our little backup button. And all this does is puts the tension on the button rather than on the material. This button has a shank on it and it also has a, uh, a little shank sewing job. So we're going to go through the button, back down, and then through the backup button.
caught here. Pack up through the backup button. At which point we will wrap around to make sure you're wrapping on the thread, not on the actual button itself. Give it a few good wraps. And once again, pass through the thread on the button. Tie off with a good knot or two. And we're done. How many husbands do you know who can sew buttons and their wives can't? Well, now that you're all button experts, um, probably the, one of the greatest button malfunctions of all time is uh, 69 Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger. Uh, he says, I think I busted a button on my trousers. You don't want my trousers to fall down now, do you? No, we don't, Mick. And with these simple tips, you can keep going. Thanks for watching.